I recently asked AI to come up with a tank design for me. This is what it came up with. It looks like it has a tiny exhaust on the front, a cannon at the top, and overall just looks a little bit like the Bob Sample tank. Anyway, today we're going to be building this thing in Sprocket. Okay, so starting out, so let's go ahead and start on the tracks. I think this is a good place to start, and honestly, it just makes sense to do so. So, uh, we're going to put the idler wheel at the front and the sprocket at the rear. We're then going to go ahead and make this go really high, which is really weird, but that's kind of how this goes. And we're going to go ahead and drag these guys forwards just like this. There we go. That is essentially how I want it to look. We're also going to change the actual track segments to look like this. And we're going to make them longer and thicker to look cooler too. So we'll raise them to be 100 millimeters of thickness. There we go. And they're going to be 250 millimeters in length. Yeah, that looks sick. And there we go, that is the shape we are going to go with. Sprocket has actually went to the front, and the idler wheel is at the back, because I wanted the idler wheel to be bigger than the sprocket, which makes sense, I think. Okay, so I suppose the next thing we need to work on is actually the body of this thing. It is going to be really, really tall. But first, we need to work on the actual bit at the front. So, let's go ahead and try and work this out. Uh, I actually think this bit at the top is in the pretty much correct position, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead and move it backwards, though, because I feel like we should. Although, I actually move this bit backwards down here. There we go. Uh, I am going to move it down slightly, just like this, there we go, and I'm going to extend this guy upwards to around there, yes. From there, we're going to go ahead and grab this piece and do this, which is absolute madness, but there you go. Drop this down slightly, bring it backwards slightly, and do that, there we go. So it looks a bit weird, but for now, that's okay. The next thing we're going to do is squidge it to be a little bit skinnier, in fact, it's going to be very skinny. Now that we've made it that skinny, we're actually going to go to the tracks and bring those guys in as well. That might look a little bit insane, but that is what we're going to go with. I'd also really like to work on the actual sprocket attaches, so the sprocket mounts are going to look like that instead. Yes. Oh, and I was just looking at the tank. This thing should actually be brought forwards. There we go. Uh, and be relatively flat. Now, this does mean it's going to be kind of weak. But that's okay, I guess. So drop this down, there we go. And I am going to round it slightly, just like so. I'll then do it again, because I can. So let's go and drop that down once more. And we're going to round it off even further. There we go. So pretty squidged, but also rounded on the bottom. Kind of cool. Yeah. Alright guys, it is looking pretty good so far. I say pretty good, it's actually looking awful. I also don't know what the back end of this tank is going to look like, so that is going to be scary. But anyway, let's go ahead and drag these guys inward slightly, and then we are going to, I don't know, I guess extend this? Uh, I am going to split it once, so let's go ahead and do this, and I am going to drag that all the way to the front. Yes. Bit weird, but don't worry about it too much. From there, we are going to go ahead and extend all of this upwards, just like so. There we go, uh, and it's going to be raised up to about here, I guess, yeah, sure, maybe a little bit less, just like that, alright, good. We're then going to go to the back end right here like this, and extend these guys over the tracks. Not all the way over, but very close to all the way over. I think then I'm going to select everything, move it upwards slightly, so we've got a little bit of a gap there. And that's okay, I think. Uh, maybe even a tiny bit more. And we're also going to lower these guys down slightly. Lower this guy down slightly too. Just so that it looks a little bit better. Why not? Okay, my next thing is to actually go to the bottom of this, extend it downwards slightly, and then raise it back up again. Uh, and I'm essentially just going to be lowering the back end down, uh, pretty much just like that. Alright, cool. I'd also actually like to take these guys here and drop that guy backwards to there as well. Uh, and that gives it a nice little angle that makes everything look a little bit better. Yes! What do we think? <laughs> it looks massive for right now, but that's fine. Alright, so I was thinking about it slightly, and I do think these guys, in terms of their width, should actually come backwards or inwards a little bit. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that, which means all of these guys need fixing too. Okay, uh, next thing, obviously, is to build the top piece on, so let's get on with that, shall we? We're going to do these guys just like so, extend them upwards, uh, actually by, no, 
not very much, really. Uh, just like that. We're then going to go to the front, and we're going to drag all of it backwards together. So we'll do something along the lines of this. Yes. Uh, and that actually is going to go backwards quite far, actually. Like, all the way backwards to there. Which means I do actually want to drag these guys downwards. Um, yeah. I think that's fine. All right, I now think it is time to add some rivets and actually make the bottom sides look really good. So let's do that, and then we'll move on to building the turret. Okay, let's talk about what has happened then. So, I have added rivets literally all over this thing, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I've added this right here, because on the uh, the picture, there is actually, like, a, a thing there. <laughs> There's also this as well, so I've added one of those, and I've added a little bit of detail down here. At the rear, I've added engine uh, stuff, so we've added the exhausts. We've also added the vents on the back, too. I've also added a door down there. Honestly, I do think this looks pretty good. The only issue that I now have, is that I wanted to design the top bit a little bit differently and that's gonna make things a little bit of a pain in the butt. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and design that and see what happens. Okay, so, uh, what we're gonna do then is go to compartments, yes, we're gonna go to faces, and we're actually gonna go and extend these guys just like this. Hopefully it doesn't move any of the rivets when I do this, but it, I don't know, there's a high chance that it might. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is extend these guys off to the side. We're then gonna grab each of these and extend it forwards. Oh no, not the side ones. Not the side ones. Extend this forwards, just like so, to around there. Okay. <laughs> this is so weird. This is really, really weird. Extend this guy out to the side, just like this. Not too, too far, actually, so something like that. And then we're going to round off the front end to hopefully make it look quite good. But, I don't know. Is it going to look good? Is it going to look bad? Is it going to look ugly? Who knows? So we're going to do something like this. Send it inwards just a little bit. All right, let's grab these guys, do it backwards, tiny amount, and outwards a tiny amount too. That honestly doesn't look too bad. Yes. From there, I'm actually going to go to the underside of these, uh, all of them, just like that, and I'm going to do... Oh, no. I'm actually just going to go and extend it down and in. I know that's not really what you want uh, to do here, but I guess that's fine. I'm also going to extend this and do that. Again, not what you want to do, but again, it's fine. Cool. Alright, so do we want this to be taller? Maybe slightly. I, I feel like the entire tank itself is actually very tall right now already, uh, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and extend this up slightly. Gonna go ahead and drop it down slightly, and we're gonna grab each of these. Uh, and it's gonna be kind of weird, because I'm just gonna extend this out. Um, and yeah, it will look a bit strange, but also it will look fine at the same time. So if we extend it out just like that, and then we go backwards, and we grab each of these again, honestly? I think it'll look fine. Maybe. I don't know. Right, grab each of these. There we go. Extend it upwards again. And we'll leave it just like that for now. Drop it down slightly. That's okay. I feel like this is actually where I'm going to deviate from the actual picture. I'm just going to go ahead and shove a turret on the front of this, and uh, we'll probably have it a lot just left like that, if that makes sense. So we'll have the turret, and maybe call it good. We'll see. Okay, so how do we want the turret to actually look? Well, I don't want it to be too tall or anything like that, uh, but essentially it is just going to be a big circle. So let's build a circle, and then come back to it. There we go. Circle has been built. Very nice. Uh, honestly, I feel like that fits on there really well. Uh, and I, I think I might actually just leave it like that. I was going to go ahead and make it smooth, which, you know, does look pretty good too. Actually, you know what? We're going to go with smooth. I'm also going to build something on the back right here too. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and grab this piece. Extend it. There we go. I am then going to actually grab this guy and that guy and do something like this. Well, they grab this one and this one and this one and do that. There we go. Out to the edges pretty much. And that looks okay. I mean, it doesn't look amazing. But that's fine. Okay, it's rivet time. We're going to rivet most of this around the bottom of here, and I'm going to rivet the turret too. Okay, that might look really, really weird, but that's how I want it to look. So there you go. I've added some uh, top holdings on the side. I've also added a sleeping bag up here, and I haven't really done anything else, to be honest. I've added rivets, of course, and a commander's coupler, but that is it. So let's go ahead and add a gun to this now. We're going to go straight in with mantlets. I am going to go with one of these. I always go with this mantlet. I just really like it, and I think it fits this tank really well. So, let's go with it and figure out what size gun we actually want. And I'm not sure what that should be. 
Okay, so what gun have we actually gone with? Well, it is an 88mm cannon, which is insane. Um, but there you go, 88mm on a Bob Sample AI tank. What do you guys think of it? Does it look good? Does it look bad? Does it look ugly? I, I, I actually really like it. I know it's dumb, but I really like it. What I want to do is actually add some, um, not fenders? What are they called? Although, actually, I do want to add a fender up there. But I want to add some, like, side skirts to this thing, too. So, I'm going to quickly add some of those. And then we'll put a livery on this. We'll put some armor on it. And we'll fight with it. And there we go. So these are what I have added. Uh, honestly, they don't look amazing, and I wasn't sure how I wanted these things to look. Uh, but it doesn't look too bad, so we're going to leave them on there and hope that they work, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and add some ammunition to this thing. I don't think I'm actually going to add any armor, and we're also going to add a livery to this as well, and then we can fight with it. Okay, so, a livery that I actually took from an AI design before is this. Honestly, it's very close to what I need, however, I do need it to be more green, and this is more green, so we're just gonna go ahead and use this. Saturation, I guess, could come up, metallicness, we're gonna raise as well, brightness is actually gonna come all the way up, and essentially, I'm gonna have it look like that. Scale-wise, I mean, I could go crazy and do this, or we could go like that. I don't really know how I want this to look, I feel like that looks a bit strange. In fact, I feel like it looks a bit strange anyway, so maybe that's fine. Alright, this right here is also from an AI design, so we're just gonna go ahead and shove this on the back, I guess, <laughs> right here, I'm, I'm sure that's fine. Uh, I would like to add some of the woods bit as well somewhere, but obviously we don't need to do that. And a logo would actually be really good too. What should we have it be? I don't really know, it's Australian, right? So, was it Australian? I was wrong, it's from New Zealand. It was one or the other, yes, okay, New Zealandish. cool. Uh, I don't know what that means we should actually put on here instead, so we're just gonna go with, uh, French. <laughs> no, Poland, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe we just go with German. No, but it's just not, is it? Maybe we could add a new livery, new emblem. Tell you what, we'll actually just add four of these, I guess, and uh, maybe that'll be fine, who knows. You know, I'm actually not a big fan of this livery. I, I, I don't know. I feel like it just doesn't look right. So I think instead we'll actually go with, I don't know, maybe just like a normal green or something like that uh, and have that be like just how it works. I'm sure that'll be fine. Hue, I mean, we could just go with like something like this, I guess. Saturation could come up, brightness could go down a little bit and there you go, it's green. Maybe that's fine. All right, I think that's where we're pretty much gonna leave it. So let's go to firepower, yes. Get ourselves some ammunition, just like this, and shove it into there. Obviously it's all backwards, but that's fine. The gunner still should be able to shoot it. However, we don't have a gunner's sight, and we also don't even have a driver's sight. So let's go ahead and add one of those, I guess. I don't even know where the driver would be on this tank. I think I'm gonna shove the driver <laughs> so they're laid down just above the actual fender. They would be laid down in there. That is insane, but sure, let's go for it. The gunner is gonna go up here, obviously, and we're gonna move that down to there, and then we should be able to shoot the gun. Yes, reloads every two seconds. That is awesome. Okay, so what era would this tank actually be? I would say probably interwar, so that is what we're doing. This is gonna be our interwar tank with an 88 millimeter cannon. Does it make sense? No. Is it working? Kind of. I mean, look. <laughs> oh, he almost fell over sideways. We're going in. We are going in. This thing is so tall, too. All right, where are the enemies at? Oh, that guy's up there. We've got two enemies remaining. Oh, there's one. See if I can actually get a kill here. Uh, I mean, our rounds are actually going straight through the enemy tanks. That's actually what's happening. We can see the boss tank coming over, so I guess we'll wait for him. And then we'll destroy him. Yes. This thing is incredibly dumb. I mean, look at it. It looks so stupid. Uh, the boss tank was just murdered straight away. That is awesome. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I've done here. Look at it. Look at it. It's so tall. It's so janky and so weird. But, um, I like it. I actually really, really do. Yes. We are now on the desert battlefields. There are nine of us and seven enemies. Are we going to do well? I don't know. But let's go. Okay, if you look at the top right of the screen, you will see that uh, my guys have actually killed quite a few enemies already. All we gotta do is drive in there and kill the rest. 
All right, well, saying that, um, I mean, I would love to kill at least something, but my guys have taken out literally every tank that they've seen uh, really quickly before I even got into a position to shoot anything. So, um, yeah, I know the last tank is over there. Hopefully I can get over there. He's already shooting at one of us, so I'm assuming one of us is going to shoot back. It's just that guy up on the hill. Is he going to survive and shoot back, or is he going to die? He doesn't seem to be shooting back, but he also doesn't seem to be dying. Which is ridiculous, because I didn't add any armor to this thing. Alright, I can just about see the enemy. I can't aim down far enough, so we gotta go closer. Okay, and... Get to the top of the hill, and we're gonna fire now. He's gonna turn towards us. You're dead. Oh, he's on fire, he's not dead. We just got killed. What if this one tank takes us out? That would be ridiculous. That would be utterly ridiculous. All right, let's change tanks. Oh, he's already dead. Never mind. All right, so let me know your thoughts on this tank down below. Let me know in your thoughts on the video style. I tried to make it as fun as possible, and I hope you guys enjoyed. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.